Students, welcome to the Junior Achievement of Dallas JA Career Speaker Series Marketing Cluster. Here are your assignments. Hi, I'm Amy Messerschmidt, and I am a Senior Marketing Analyst for NTT Data Services. I attended the University of Oklahoma, <laughs> go Sooners, where I majored in marketing and got a nonprofit organizational studies minor. One of the best parts about that combination is that marketing's in the business school, so I got to really work on my math skills by taking a lot of accounting and finance classes. And on the other hand, with my nonprofit minor, I got to see more of the human side of business by taking classes like Intro to HR. I highly recommend taking classes with a diverse range of topics so you get to know what your interests are. The foundation for my career path is having a good work ethic, and it all started when I was in high school getting as many volunteer hours as possible. I even got my Girl Scout Gold Award, and it all prepared me for my first internship, which was with the company I'm at now, and it was before my senior year of college. So when I went back to college, I was a contractor for KPMG, and after graduation, I was able to get a job with NTT Data Services. And all I have to say is don't take any opportunities for granted. One of the biggest learning experiences I've had at this job is learning to speak up. My coworkers have a lot more job experience than I do, and I was intimidated at first. But when they were having problems with the technology we use to run our meetings, and I stepped in to help, they actually put me in charge of our team's standing meetings. And it's been really rewarding. <laughs> in terms of financial literacy, I'll work with people in finance who partner with our team to support our needs. I'll fill out certain forms if there are expenses to report and they'll handle the rest. That's been my experience with the workforce thus far and I wish you all the best of luck developing yours. Hey guys, my name is Leah Frazier and I am the CEO of Think3 Media. We are a creative marketing and communications agency based right here in Dallas, Texas. And I'm so happy to be um, speaking with you guys today just for a little bit about my journey. It's been really, really nuts. <laughs> so as far as my educational background, I graduated from Rowlett High School and I went to college in Rochester, New York on a basketball scholarship. So it was very cold there culture shock. Okay. <laughs> Went to Roberts Wesleyan College for four years and I uh, got my bachelor's of science degree in criminal justice. And at the time, uh, one of my professors thought that I would make a better attorney rather than a cop because I, I hated blood and all that stuff. So yeah, I was a better attorney. So I came back to Dallas and went to Texas Wesleyan University School of Law in Fort Worth and got my law degree. And along the way, I mean, I practiced law for a while, but along the way, I decided I wanted to be my own boss. I wanted to make my own decisions. I wanted to work for myself. And so I left law and took a totally different career path and went into fashion. So everything that you see as far as in the magazine, styling, um, personal shopping, New York Fashion Week. I was a fashion journalist. I still am to this day and um, a fashion influencer on social media. I did all of those things. But along the way, learning all of those things, I used all those skills to then start my own business. So Think3 Media was started based on all the skills that I learned along the way from um, social media, to being on TV, to being on radio, um, to working with people and networking with people. That's what we do today. So um, if you're interested in social media, that's what you like. If you like to make really pretty feeds on Instagram, if you like to learn the hot new things like TikTok and Twitch, that's what we do. And when you uh, watch TV and you see people on TV or in the magazines or on the radio, our clients, it's our job to put our clients on those platforms and in those spaces. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, in the communications realm, so like TV, radio, social media, then that's, then there's a career for you. Some tips that I have is that if you really want to get into this business, practice your public speaking. That was the one major mistake that I didn't do early on that I really had to get good at. So go in front of a mirror, turn the phone on to yourself and really learn how to communicate your message and do so effectively. Practice, practice, practice. And the second tip that I have for you guys is to really work on your writing. In communications, you have to be able to to speak and write effectively. And we write a ton of press releases that go to top journalists and top writers. And you want to make sure that doesn't have grammar or spelling errors. So those are just two tips. Hey, Junior Team at Dallas, my name is Denver Tracy. Thank you for taking time to visit today. Let me share a little bit about me. 
Currently, I'm the art director for Dallas-based agency Tandem Theory. Also, I'm the host of my podcast, Voiced. So my vertical space is social media advertising, and I love it. I have had the opportunity to collaborate with great companies such as Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and BMW, Mercedes-Benz, so many others I can't even count. So it all began in high school where I used to shoot funny videos with my friends, my family, and I really began to love the industry of broadcast media. That led me to the Art Institute of Dallas where I studied multimedia graphic design and I minored in broadcast media. My first role directly out of college was with Texas Cable News Channel 38. Um, really exciting. I created live on-air news graphics as well as segment show graphics. Since then, I've worked with a number of companies from traditional agencies to municipalities like the city of Plano. And then recently, I started a public relations company called DNA Public Relations, where we work with some of the nation's top social media influencers and event companies such as Logan Paul, Lele Pons, and then VidCon, Play This Live, and Digitour. One big mistake, and there's many little ones, but there's always one big one that will always you'll always remember. One of my biggest mistakes was with a national agency um, where we worked on a BMW campaign. So the campaign was centered on the launch of the new BMW M3, and it was in multiple markets. Um, it was a national campaign. This covered direct mail, newspaper, print, a magazine, and uh, also digital. So in advertising, on any single campaign, there are multiple departments with many people touching a variety of pieces throughout the entire process. This allows a good deal of margin for error. So what happened, I'm sure you're wondering? Well, it was simple. One word. A one word typo through every piece of print material and nobody caught it. That single one word error caused a reprint of all newspaper, billboard, and digital mail print. Key takeaway? Always, always proof your work before you send the print. Um, always proof your email before you hit send. Super important. This also leads me to a financial lesson that I have learned to adopt through every area of my life. And it's simple. You are the best investment you could ever make. For real, there isn't a week that goes by where I'm not leveling up my knowledge by some podcast, ad week post, TikTok video, Snapchat filter, just anything. And there are a ton of ways that you can level up your knowledge with little to no expense at all. Okay, now let's have some fun. And let's talk about some pro tips for your success. So first off, don't be afraid to fail. Failure is your best teacher of success. And how you respond to that will determine the level of achievement that you're going to experience. Pro tip two. Be vocal and expressive about your talents and your abilities. There is no bar for achievement. And your success is wide open and it starts completely over every single day. Pro tip three, be a sponge and a great listener. There are going to be times where people just want to share great ideas. This is your opportunity to collaborate and make something new and maybe pivot in a different direction that you might not otherwise have considered in the past be a listener. Number four, so love what you do and take your time. There is no time frame for success. Many notable entrepreneurs discover their success story in different phases of their lives, and they all love the process along the way. So just take your time, enjoy the show, just enjoy what you're doing because that at the end of the day matters the most. Well, I really enjoyed our time together today. I wish you the very best of luck and I'm looking forward to seeing you out there. Hi, Junior Achievers. My name is Grant Byington. I'm the Social Media Manager for NTT Data Services. I had a very unnatural career path to where it is that I am today. I started as a professional actor when I was seven years old. I still do that today. Uh, and then uh, I taught high school for 10 years. And as a summer job, I got a job as a writer, a contract writer, at a boutique writing agency here in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, I worked my way through the ranks um, after that summer job at that agency to become a creative director at that agency. And it was there that I learned all about profit and loss and all sorts of income statements and all of the things that you need to run a business. 
And then about 10 years ago, I struck out on my own and I started my own consultancy business for digital marketing. And I was a um, writer for hire and a contractor. And uh, I worked for two years in that capacity before my largest client hired me to become their social media manager, which is where I am today. I would say that um, I get to use both sides of my brain in my everyday job. I work as a, a creative person and I also work as an analytical person. One of the great things about digital marketing is you get to use both sides of your brain. You work with uh, the creative side. I write every day. I'm an editor in chief of our corporate blog. I also create our social media. Um, and then I schedule it and then I analyze it. And for that, I need a vast extension of um, knowledge around the tools that we use to analyze our social data. And from there, I take those results and I perfect and monitor and manage um, our program. We have about 400,000 followers on social media right now, and that list is growing every day. And uh, I look to the future of marketing to be digital and social. So I would say, if anything, to you, I would say use both sides of your brain every day. Try to create something every day, try to create something new, create something that wasn't there before, and then learn how to measure it, learn how to analyze it, and of course, use the tools that you have at your disposal to do that, the digital tools that you have at your disposal to do that. See you later. Keep achieving. Thanks for watching. Students, have you completed the survey and your assignments? Follow us on social media.